Reggie, how are you? I'm fine. Jim. What do we have here? We have the poster that announces the Merit Award, the Nantucket Arts Council Merit Award. All right. What? It, well, tell me about that. Uh, well, this one is it's next Thursday, August 16th, at Dreamland Theater, and it is to honor Cecilia and Seward Johnson and their great contributions to the cultural life of Nantucket. Very nice. So that's and and uh, they've been actually doing contributing for many many years. Many many years. Of course, they're best known for what they did with the Artists Association and the the uh, the gallery, which is named after them. Right. That's they, right. Were, they were responsible for that marvelous feat. And, uh, but the whole, the history of the of the Merit Award is fascinating, of the people that were involved in it. So it, are, we, are we trying to get people to show up at the Dreamland for this? Well, it would be nice. Yeah. It's a small event. It's not, it was never intended to be an extravaganza with hundreds of people. Right. So, but, but uh, <clears throat> we're thinking in terms of between 75, 85. Okay. And it's going ahead, but there's still our tickets available. Uh, it not only is intended to honor the Johnsons, but it also is a benefit for the scholarship program. And we are inaugurating a particular scholarship in their name. Is this, this is brand new? It's brand new. And tell us about that. Okay. Uh, in the last, the scholarship program began in 1995. And through an extraordinary gift, uh, from Lucille Hayes and her family's foundation, the Wheezy, that built the Wheezy Library. Right. And they made this gift of $75,000 matching fund. And the Arts Council, with great effort over a two year period, was able to match it. And thus began the scholarship. Is it, a, is it an art scholarship? It's just in art. And it's for a high school worthy <coughs> student? For a high school student who is graduating and wishes to continue their education in the arts. Oh, very good. And so since... <coughs> excuse me. It's no problem. Since 1995, we've been giving a, an award out to mm -hmm. a student? Uh, off and on. I, I see. You know, but we've given about, I think, 18 students have benefited from it. Wow, that's a nice scholarship. Yeah, and uh, So now this one is different. Uh, we have no, a new one. No, it's the same scholarship, but a particular scholarship. We give about two or three a year. A particular one will be named after the Johnsons. Oh, okay. Like next year, I strongly hope that we will initiate a scholarship for Mac Dixon. Oh, <coughs> yeah, that'll be nice. Mac has um, you know, sure. died years ago. But speaking about a titan, who contributed in such extraordinary ways. I mean, he created theater on Nantucket. Speaking of which, I mean, it seems to, there's a nice revival happening right now. Oh, there certainly like is. Like never before, I've never seen it so It's just one of, the, one of the most vibrant, uh, productive, doing exciting things, you know. Right, and um, how, how would you define, or how would you, um, Describe what the art scene is like right now uh, uh, in Nantucket, and and tell us a little bit about why art is so important too. For uh, okay, I think the the whole, basically the reason for the Nantucket Arts Council was to be a an organization that promoted the arts, that tried to get the message across how vitally important the arts are for a truly functioning, healthy, vital community. And, and one of the painful things that I've discovered over the years is there is a tendency, particularly on the powers that be, uh, to treat the arts in a very casual, sort of cavalier way. It's nice, uh, but it's dispensable. It's not market driven. Uh, you know, and it's the exact opposite it is true. It is possibly one of the most vitally important Why? elements. Why do you say that? Well, first of all, it touches every level of society. It brings every level together through a common experience. It, it tells us who we are, 
what we would like to be, where we're going, where we shouldn't be going. Mm -hmm. it, it's, and also, you know, it can be a lot of fun. <laughs> you know, it's not just an educational experience. It's, it's, it's possibly one of the richest experiences because it's so varied. So do you, you, know. do, you, do you think there's momentum behind it? Or where, where are we as far as... Uh, I mean, we've got I the think new things have improved. I think things are certainly improving on the <laughs> island. This recognition, this awareness of how important the arts are, economically, commercially, societal. You know, it's, it's a very important. And it's not being sloughed off as, as you know, as, oh, it's nice. Right. But, right. but I think there's a lot more we could do. And that is the responsibility of the council. And the Merit Award basically is one of the tools that we use to get this message across. Because it begins to take on the form of an individual that people know about. The Johnsons are recognizable. Susie Jarrell is recognizable. And her accomplishments therefore mean that much more. It's not an abstraction. So uh, we feel it's been a very effective program. The first three were sort of, they were so, they were very, rather quietly done, so quietly done that not too many people knew about it. So we, we decided in the last two or three years to make it a little bit more, you know, available through advertising, sure. through, through an interview like this sure, sure. and whatnot. And well. Now, how are you doing? You're, you're in charge of this whole operation to keep things rolling? Uh, no one person could ever be in charge of this whole operation. I do my bit. Yep. I have a great, you know, we have a great board, uh, which we hope to enlarge sure. over the period of time. Mm -hmm. And uh, it keeps us busy, I can tell you. Well, it's always a pleasure to sit and chat with you and find out where you're at and what's going on. Oh, good. Thank you so much, Gina, for this, this chance.